we're going to take a look at this week is a new feature that's been added in the 10.0.19 release, and it's how your embedded power apps can act with interact within finance and operations. So in the past, we've only been able to send one field over from finance and operations over to the app when we're embedding. So for example, if we were embedding an app in the customer screen, we could, we could send the account number. So if you think about it though, anytime you're, you're querying an account number, the other field that you always need to be querying along with it is the company. So you might have a US 004 customer in the USMF company if we're using Contoso data, and you might have a US-004 customer in, in one of the other companies, right? So one of the, you always really need to query that, that company field. So until 10.0.19, there was really no great way to do that. I mean, you could you could get the user's default company, but if the user's changing companies, that wasn't always working correctly. So there was really no great way to do it without you know coding it and embedding it via code. But with 10.0.19, we actually have a way of getting the comp the user's current company as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a very simple app. We're going to create a couple of labels. I'm going to show you how you can get both variables there and, and use that in your app. So we're not really going to create a, a, a full-scale app here. I'm just going to show you how you can get those variables. And I've, I've done other videos on how you can you know, use virtual entities to create apps for FNO and, and some other things. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that kind of here at the end of the video if you're interested in that. So let's go and get started. If we flip over here to our uh, make.powerapps.com, I've already created a, 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 tab, or a phone app for us, just a blank canvas app here to do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our variable. So what you wanna do is make sure that your, your variable is on start. I'm gonna expand this down to give us a little more room. Now the one that we're used to using, let me go ahead and copy this. I've got this laid out for us here, is, is this one here. So this is the the, the statement that we've been using in the past that it passes in a parameter that FNO sends over to us. So this would be our customer ID that FNO is sending over to us, for example. Now this has always been there and we've always been able to use this. So basically this is a simple if statement we're using. If entity ID is not blank, there's an exclamation point there, so that means it's not blank. So if it's not blank, we're going to set a variable here, this FinOps input to that entity ID. Otherwise, we're gonna set it to blank. So when you're doing this, you, you generally always wanna have a fallback position in case, you know, maybe you're using this app outside of finance and operations and you're using a standalone um, where you can do different logic if based on whether or not you get the variable or not, all right? So to get the company, you're gonna do a, a similar statement. So we're gonna we're gonna do another if statement. And we're, again, we're doing not is blank. So that's gonna mean that it is, isn't blank. And then the param parameter now for this one is called um, CMP. All right, so that's going to give us the company. All right, so if company's not blank, we're going to go ahead and set, um, I'm going to call this one var, var company uh, is for my variable that I'm going to use for that. And then param, I'm going to set it to that company parameter. And again, if it's blank, if, if the uh, parameter of company is blank, we're just going to set the uh, company or company uh, to blank, right? So again, we can, this is another one where we can use we can do if statements to check to see if the company is populated and maybe use a default company or, or show certain fields or don't show other fields, et cetera, et cetera, right? So now we've got our two parameters that we're going to use is the FinOps input. And so this is directly from Microsoft. I generally like to name my variables, put, put a var in front of it so I know that it's a variable. Um, but you know, whatever, however you name your variables, I'm, I'm just going to put that there so I, I've got it. Um, all right, so we've got these two variables here. We've got va variable FinOps input and then variable company. All right, so really that's what we need to get the variables. So if we come back here to our little simple app, I'm just going to add two labels on here. And... In the first uh, label here, this one's going to be, we'll rename this one. This is going to be our account. And in the second label, this is, we're going to populate this with our company, right? So I'll just name those just so we can keep those straight. All right. So here, what we're going to do is we just want to set that, that label equal to our 
var FinOps input. So again, we're going to pass the account number into that one. And then on this particular one there on the company, we're going to pass in var company. All right. Great. All right. So very simple. Just have two little fields there. This one's going to be the uh, account number. This one's going to equal the company. All right. So let me go ahead and save that. And I've already saved it once. So it's going to want to publish it. Let's publish that out. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'm going to grab the app ID for it. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And let's go over to finance and operations. All right. So where we're going to embed this is in the customer account screen. So we're going to go over here to accounts receivable customers. Let that open up and let's just open up US004. And we're going to come up here to our add an app. We've seen this before. I'm just going to call this SG test app there. And then I'm going to put in that app ID. And then, so here's where we select our input field. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to use my account. Now, the thing to remember is it's always going to send the company now. So it just, it's going to do that by default. You don't have to select it or, or do anything there. And we're going to let that be accessed by all legal entities, right? So we're going to go ahead and hit the insert button. And this is, I'm going to save this as a view here. So we're going to save as, we'll do my view. We'll make that default. That way it comes up for us. And then anytime I do a personalization, which is a which is what we're doing here, I always like to just go back to the home screen, refresh. That way I know that it's 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 all there, right? Um, so let's go ahead and um, actually go back to the home screen. I can load that up, and let's go back into accounts receivable. Go back to our all customers. Yeah, we'll pull up my US004 account here. And notice it's in my view. If we come up here to our Power Apps, we should have our SG Test app. And we'll load that up. And so there is our account number that is passing in the US004. And the company is the USMF. So if I close that, see I'm in USMF up here. Okay. So this is a very small feature, a small ad that was done, but it's really powerful because basically for us in the uh, supply chain or the FNO side, you have to query on that company in every every query, right? You, you, if you're going to query the customer's accounts, if you're going to query POs, you always need that company there. So that was kind of a hole there that that, that they filled. And again, it's a small thing, but it's 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 a really big thing, right? So I just wanted to show you how you can get that now. I think that makes embedding apps a lot better and a lot easier, a lot more no code that that you know, we can use it better now. Okay. So I'll put a link down here to another, um, a couple of our power apps, uh, maybe the power apps playlist. So you can kind of take a look at some other videos if you're interested in, in some more uh, power apps contact on FNO. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some use in this. I, I, I found this out and I, I thought it was really neat. Uh, but so until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.